This year's Computex coverage is brought to you by MSI, Thermaltake, Corsair, and Be Quiet. We are here at the Gambia's booth, Computex 2024. Let's go check out the products. So this is the Nesso P1 Pro. It comes in black and white. It follows that sleek design that wraps the glass around. You can see the curvature in it, but it's also not a complete square. So they've gone a bit different here. You can see it fits the full length graphics cards in. We can actually fit up to a 420 millimeter radiator on the side of the motherboard and a 360 up the top. It's also a dual chamber case. So the power supply is located in the rear. Now the case actually comes with three 30 millimeter fans. So they're actually thicker than your standard thickness to get more airflow through. They're also daisy chained as well. So you can expect just one cable coming out of them for the power and the RGB. Now guys, that's not the only unique feature about this case. You want it to open the glass panels. All you have to do is press this button right here and it'll open the front panel. So it's nice, toolless design. Also with the feet, if you actually wanted to put this case on its side, you can actually remove the feet. They're just magnetically clipped in and actually put them on the back panel so that it lays down flat. So you can actually view your PC case from the front and top here, which is pretty unique. Now MSRP for this case is at 189 US dollars. So this is the Atlas P2 and it actually comes with the curved glass and you'll see the Atlas P1 as well. Similar specs to this, but it's actually a cheaper variant and just comes with the 90 degree glass. Obviously the tooling to make the glass curve makes it that much more expensive, but this does come with a built-in in display there so you can view your temperatures celsius or fahrenheit as well so it's up to the individual they can change it around also with the p2 we've also got support for 360 millimeter radiator at the top and at the rear we can also fit a 120 or a 140 millimeter fan and throughout the show you may have noticed that there is a lot of btf support coming out and gambius are on top of that as well this has full btf support for those motherboards with all the connections at the back as well now this is the p1 the brother of the P2. As you can see, it's got the square glass now, so there is no curvature on this, but it's a hinged design, so they both open up like this, so you can get full access to building this PC. It gives you plenty of room for building. And then also, down below here, you see they've got an LCD display here. Now you can actually open this panel up and you can slide that uh, around wherever you want to view temperatures and things like that of your system. There's plenty of ventilation as well, the same radiator specs as the previous P2 as well. Now with the Atlas M1, they've actually sized down their case a bit more, but you still have plenty of support. You can see we can still fit three fans down the bottom, can have one 120 at the rear. We could also fit a 240 radiator at the side of the motherboard here, and we can also fit a 360 up the top as well. Now this does not have BTF support, but this is more budget oriented case that they have going, but you can make a nice, clean, simple build. We've still got all of the temperature display built in as well. So, you know, you're not missing out on too many features, but you could still get the performance that you want out of your gaming PC. Now, as the naming scheme goes, when there is a two in the title, the Atlas M2, that's when they bring in the curved glass. So we've got similar specs to the M1. However, this time with the curved glass, we could still fit the 360 millimeter radiator up the top, our 240 at the front here. And obviously we've got a nice clean looking system and you can get it in black and white as well. And we still have the temperature display at the front here. Now guys, if you want something even more compact, you can look at the Atlas E1. It comes in black and white. The support for radiator compatibility is only a 240 up the top. So you don't want your higher end systems in there because it's going to get toasty. But for something like your lower end CPUs, maybe like mid tier, i5 or something like that. It's going to be the perfect system for it. Again, you can still mount fans down the bottom so you can kind of have air coming up and then out the top, venting out the top and the side here. So it's going to go straight into the GPU, keep it nice and cool. So this is certainly an option to look at. And again, still comes with an LCD panel. So you're still getting all those features. Again, with the naming scheme, we have the Atlas E2. That means curved glass panel. Now this is a nice tinted tempered glass. You can get it in black and white as well. We again do have the display down there so you can view your temperature. It does come with three built-in RGB fans as well, but unfortunately no BTF support, but that's still good for a nice compact case. And we do have the 240 millimeter radiator support. Now, believe it or not guys, for three ARGB fans, all of this tempered glass here and the LCD display here, 60 US dollars. That is an absolute bargain for such a small case. This is amazing.
Now this is the Athena P3 case. So you can see we've got two different variants in the mesh design at the front here. Now the Athena can actually fit a 360 millimeter radiator up the top, comes with four pre-installed performance fans. And also at the front, you can put a 360 millimeter radiator inside as well. You can see we've got plenty of space there if you wanted to add all of that water cooling to get a nice custom loop inside for that extra performance. Plenty of ventilation all the way around as well. And that's what they're really after here. This is their performance case you can fit full-size gpus as well and we have full btf back motherboard support for those backwards connections on the motherboard so you can keep your build looking nice and clean now i did want to show you this front panel because this was the most unique feature about this case so the way it's designed is they've got like a an edge or a lip around here that actually goes right onto the fans to stop any air leakage out so all of the air is actually going to be forced through your system for optimal performance. Now, Gamdias have their brand new AIO coolers, and I, I didn't really want to touch too much on the performance because I haven't tested it out personally, but I did want to touch on the new LCD displays that they have. So here, it's a full digital display, so you can have temperature on there. You can actually put your own GIFs on there as well. Uh, you can change the lighting on the side as well in their programs. So there's lots of customization that you can do with this, but they also have a more budget-oriented version over there, which just displays system temperature and system information so you can actually customize it if you're after you know something with a little more savings now if custom AIO cooler is not for you of course we do have the tower cooling as well so they've got two versions here and both of them also have LCD displays as well so much like the AIO cooler you can fully customize it and you can put your own gifts on there, own pictures uh, whatever you like all you have to do is go into the software and it's all there so like what I was saying before, these are the AIO coolers that actually just showed the system temperature, stuff like CPU, fan speed, things like that. And these are the more budget oriented versions. So you will save a little bit of money going with some of these. These actually come in black and white as well. So these are the Alus P2 fans from Gambius. And these are their brand new magnetic daisy link chain fans. So there's only one cable coming off of them. Now, believe it or not, guys, the controller that is connected to these can actually control 20 fans. I have not seen anything else on the market that can control that many devices from the one controller. So that is pretty unique about this. It gives me similar vibes to the Leon Lee ones, but 20 fans on one controller. That is pretty crazy. Now, these are the Gambius Notus M1 fans fans these fans have so much performance built into them but the kicker here is that they've designed it so that it is completely silent i'm talking only 25 decibels at max so i can't even hear it and it's right next to my ear that is absolutely incredible i don't want to get too close because the blades <laughs> might chop me nose off <laughs> now if you're after performance and looks you can actually get these fans in rgb as well now they do come with their cases already and they're looking for user feedback they want to know do you guys want to see them on the market as a standalone pack of fans that users can purchase so let us know down in the comments guys